afternoon and welcome to an overcast Edale. So today is going to be a long walk and uh, I'll tell you why in a minute. Just bear with me on this introduction, it's probably going to be a, a little bit longer than the norm but got quite a bit to uh, update you on. So my plan today is to make my way up to the snake path via uh, roughly around Birching Clough area and then I'm going to loop back on myself uh, and climb up Fairbrook onto the northern edge of Kinder before making my way back along the edge and back to Nether Booth where I'm parked today. Probably going to be about uh, 18, 19 miles if I've uh, plotted the route correctly. But anyone who watched my last video in Crowden, I did mention on that one that uh, I was hoping to have news of a, uh, a multi day hike, which uh, I can now let you know today that uh, I've actually planned that. So early September, now it's all see COVID-19 and me remaining injury free dependent, but uh, um, I'm planning to walk the Cleveland Way. So if you've not heard, the Cleveland Way is uh, about 109 miles, starts in the North Yorkshire Moors before making its way down to the uh, the coast ending in Filey and I'm planning to walk that over six days to raise money for Mind, the mental health charity. So I've been putting quite a lot of mileage in as you've probably seen from my videos over the last uh, um, over the last few months and uh, today's just a continuation of that really want to kind of build that mileage up, get the mileage in my legs to hopefully make the, uh, the Cleveland Way uh, not as daunting a proposition as it looks. So I told you it was a long one, I hope you're still with me. Um, let's see what the day brings, I'm hoping that the, uh, the weather will start to clear up as we, uh, as we get through the day. Okay, catch up with you soon. Welcome back. So I'm about four miles in. Come from over that direction where the sun is. And that's eventually where I'll be heading, where the mist is. I'm hoping that by the time I get up there, that's gone. And we can actually see something. So I forgot to mention in that real long opening rambling earlier, um, that when I do the Cleveland Way next month, I am planning, and it is Wi-Fi and time to editing, uh, time to edit dependent. I am planning on doing a, uh, a daily video, so uh, if anyone's interested, they'll be able to kind of track my progress uh, along the Cleveland Way. So this is where I should, this is where I get all YouTube now. Uh, so if you haven't done so already, and you do want to watch those videos. Hit the subscribe button, that little bell thingy, so apparently that notifies you when a video's gone on. And also the thumbs up. 
um, and then hopefully you'll get to uh, watch me on my uh, Cleveland Way adventures and give me some encouragement in the comments because I'm sure it's going to get difficult as the days and the miles uh, progress. Right, I will come back to you hopefully when we get up to, uh, to Kinder. Just this last little bit to go now, I say little. We've got a choice of a scramble or footpath. Footpath wins today. Almost made it to the top. So I'm at, don't mind admitting that's been a, a tough ascent. We see right down the bottom of the valley where we've come from. First time up for Airbrook. Really, really impressed. Just walking alongside a waterfall for the vast majority of the way up. Just that to go now, then we're on the top. Let's do it. So quick progress update. So just made it to or oh, just passing Gateside Clough, which is that uh, clough there. Probably see the Snake Pass right in the uh, in the distance. But I'm going to carry on today and take in a new part of the edge for me. We'll carry on down to Crookstone Knoll, and then I'll decide which uh, which way I'm going to go from there. Sorry, we've got no uh, no fantastic views for you today. I think my luck with glorious sunny weekend weather's come to an end, but uh, I think we can do about the weather. Let's just crack on, shall we?
down there we have Blackton Brook um, one of the uh, scrambles on my to-do list at some point it's definitely a lot tougher than Fairbrook looking at it but I think it is doable in the right weather conditions I think we've got a classic case there of watch where you're walking when you're filming and again quick energy stop Need it. Okay, so I made it to mile 14. I'm tall, great ridge in the background. Still quite hazy though, so the spectacular views are not here unfortunately today. Legs are feeling good ish. Now I'm going to make my way to Riggin Roger and descend via the NAB before I make my way back to Netherbooth. Three miles to go, ish. If, uh, my navigation skills are up to scratch. So we've got Grindsbrook Clough straight ahead there. Always a good scramble right to the top of uh, Kinder up there. Almost back at the end of the walk now. Another good one. Been about 17 and a half miles in total, so some good miles into the legs uh, for the Cleveland Way. I think the longest day I've got on that is about uh, 22 miles, but uh, nothing of the nature of what I've done today in terms of uh, ascents and descents. So just about to sign off. But uh, as I mentioned at the start, if you do want to follow my Cleveland Way adventures in a few weeks' time, hit the subscribe button um, and the bell notification. Um, I will be posting those daily videos, hopefully. It'll be good to have people uh, uh, join me on the journey. Right, thanks for watching as always, liking, commenting, subscribing, etc. Really appreciate it. Going to get back to the car, drive home and have a well-earned cup of tea. See you all soon.